This is how to make a copy of um, the timesheet for your folder. Uh, to access these instructions that I'm going to go through, you would come to Share Drives, Agency Paperwork, and open the Google Drive How To's. This information is located at the bottom of this document, uh, Timesheets. So um, in here it has links to different screencasts and uh, shows you the instructions for what I'm showing you here in this video. Uh, to make a copy of the timesheet that you need, you come to the timesheets folder in the agency paperwork shared drive. You can see it here. Timesheets. There's two different timesheets. If you pay uh, and you do one or you get paid for one month um, spanning from the first to the last of the month, then you click on this one. If you are uh, recording hours from like the 15th to the 15th of each month, then you would do the two month timesheet. The difference, I will show you, the difference is that they have a different number of tabs in the bottom. So for the one month timesheet, you have um, tabs on the bottom that will come up in a moment. Um, the tabs are the timesheet, the on call overtime service report, and the time request form. That's all you have here. For the two months one, you have a timesheet and on call for one month and a timesheet and on call for the other month. And then you still have the time request form. That, that's the difference between the two. So once you decide which one you need, you would right click on it. If you're using a Mac, uh, you click with two fingers and then you say make a copy. That will pop up with a copy in this folder that we are in right now. Then you right click again. So that's two fingers on the keypad if you are on a Mac or if you're using a mouse, then it's a right click. And then you say move to this current folder will pop up. I need to click this arrow for timesheets paid staff. And then your name should pop up here um, with a folder if it isn't in there you need to contact the executive director and the admin assistant to make sure that you get a folder. And I select it and then I say move here. It will pop up with an alert. You say move anyway, then it will disappear. Then you can get to that folder by clicking timesheets paid staff. Your folder should be here. And here it is, copy of this long thing. I'm gonna open it and then I'm gonna wait a moment for it to load. I know it's done loading when these tabs on the bottom pop up. Then I'm going to retitle it so that it says something like timesheet October 2020. So that it's showing, um, now it says timesheet October 2020. And then you would go through and fill it out. You would need to, um, if you're using the two month timesheet you need to rename you can either right click and click rename or you can double click down here you need to rename these timesheets um, so like for example if I was um, doing October to November then I would need to rename this one November timesheet and November on call. You need to rename these later ones first before renaming the earlier ones because otherwise it won't let you do it because um, you'll have two of the same spreadsheet. October and October. Um, and then the last thing you need to do is make sure that you update the dates. Here I would change this to be October and down at the bottom whatever date I'm turning it in this would be like November 15th maybe that I'm turning it in. That will auto populate here. So now this is my sign date, October the 15th. For the November one, I do need to change it to, oops, to be any date in November here. At the bottom of the timesheet, I would need it, oh, the bottom of the timesheet will auto update. And then these, this will auto update too. So that's for the more elaborate if you're doing the two spanning two months time pay period. That's it.